Joel Eaton enlisted in the 81st Illinois Infantry in January 1864. Five months later, he was taken prisoner at Bryce's Crossroads in Mississippi and was sent to Andersonville. On February 9, 1865, he was admitted to the prison camp hospital with chronic diarrhea, with the knowledge that nearly all who entered the hospital never left there alive. He languished in the hospital for two weeks before taking action to save his own life. On February 28th, desperate for improved medical care, he enlisted into Confederate service and was assigned to the 10th Tennessee Infantry under the command of Colonel John O'Neill, who was recruiting Union prisoners to the Confederate Army. His plan seemed to work as just two days later, he was admitted as a Confederate soldier to the Army Hospital in Macon, Georgia. However, he died on March 17, 1865, of the chronic diarrhea that crippled him in Andersonville. He served and suffered as a United States soldier, but died as a Confederate. His decision to try and save his own life failed and had permanent consequences. His wife Louise and children John and Annie were left behind in southern Illinois, ineligible for a pension on account of his choice to swap sides. The consequences of his decision are evident even today. Joel Eaton is buried in the Confederate section of Rose Hill Cemetery in Macon as the flag he hoped would save his life floats overhead. <laughs>